What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. And ladies and gentlemen, today's video is a banger. You guys already know that. We got ourselves an amazing Sandstorm team with Tyranitar, Extra, and Dracofish alongside the Fire Legendary Dog, Entei. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Shout out to my boy Jacob for dropping this team. If you guys are interested in dropping me teams, head and link in the description below, jeans underscore YouTube. There's a link down there to my Instagram page. DM me your teams over there and I'll definitely take a look at them and possibly use them on my channel. But first Pokemon on this team, we got Tyranitar. You guys already know so much about it. This thing's an absolute beast. Sandstream ability, weakness policy, rock and dark type with the moves of Lash Out, Rock Slide, EQ, and Protect. You guys already know plenty about it. Don't trigger that weakness policy or we're going to run this battle. Right over on the right side, we got Entei with that charcoal and inner focus. This is my first time using him. He's got Sacred Fire for stab with that charcoal. Makes it do more damage. Snarl to lower a special attack. I love that move. Extreme speed for first priority and protect. So I feel like we're going to bring Entei in a lot of these battles because he's just so versatile. Beyond my face cam, we got Incineroar. Great Pokemon. You guys already know plenty about him as well. With the Intimidate, Chop Berry, Normal Move, Set of Flare, with Stark Accelerate, Fake Out, and Protect. Over on the right side, we're using my boy. One of my top five Pokemon. I absolutely love Extra Drill right here. We haven't been able to use him in the last season because he was banned but he's back and I feel like we're gonna do some work with him he's got rock slide EQ iron head and sword Zans. nothing's really changed for him just back here he's just back and ready to go he also has that mole breaker ability not sand rush on that team but I feel like mole breaker still gonna come up big bottom left corner is our sand rush Pokemon we got Draco fish with that choice band you guys already know how deadly this could be I actually did a video on these two and once Draco fish gets that double speed he can just fish his friend out and just absolutely dominate this thing has rock slide as well with EQ and psychic fangs Final spot is our Tailwind Pokemon with Crobat, Inner Focus, and Safety Goggles for that Sandstream. Poison Flying type, we can set up Tailwind, we can Taunt, we can Haze and just cancel out stats, and then we got Cross Poison as his hitting move. Guys, you want to try out this team for yourself? Rental Code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked Double Ladder and try to get some wins with this Draco Fish and Extra Drill Sandstorm team. This guy's team's looking very, very strong coming up for battle number one. He's got that Cresselia right there alongside with the Intimidate Landorus, Tyranitar, he's got Tapu Koko. Kartana and Charizard. That, that's just looking deadly. That is looking deadly. Um, does he have a Tailwind Pokemon? I don't think so. So I think Tailwind is going to be the play. So we're going to lead Crobat. And then do we lead Titar here as well? But then Intimidate will drop him. Um, we, I definitely want to bring Entei. I kind of want to bring Entei, Titar, and then maybe Draco Fish. I feel like Entei is going to be a good lead as we can snarl up or we can just swap out going to Titar. And I think Draco Fish over Axe I think that works a little better because Draco Fish can dump on the Titar, the Charizard. The Landorus, yeah, Draco Fish is definitely the call here. It's definitely going to be the call, especially if we get Tailwind set up. We're going to be thriving. We are going to be thriving. I wasn't going to bring Tailwind, but I was just like, he has nothing besides Tailwind. I was just going to go in with Sandrush, Titar, and Draco Fish as a lead. But I feel like this is going to be the play. Because I think he might lead the Landorus, something along those lines. But we can definitely, we're in our focus, so we cannot fake us out if he has a fake out user. I don't know if he does. I didn't actually uh, check that one off the list. But he does have Intimidate, so he can't be lowered. Does he lead the Landorus? He does. He's going to lead the Landorus. That's totally fine with me. I don't think I set up a. I don't think I set up a Tailwind right now. I don't think I do a Tailwind. Considering Cresselia can set, a tr set up a Trick Room. The Inner Focus is going to pop out from both these Pokemon, which is huge. Get out of my face. I'm not dealing with you, dog. I'm not dealing with you. Dude, Shiny Crobat's looking sick. Entei is looking amazing. So we just uh, go for a Cross Poison over on Cresselia. And then, uh, do I Snarl? I could Snarl. But I think it's going to be Physical Attacking, so I might just take a Fire. And try to leave this thing with a Burn. Because if we can leave Landers with a Burn, that's going to be huge for us. Let's see what he does. Helping Hands coming out here. I should have set up a Tailwind. I probably should have set up a Tailwind. And he's going to dump on my Entei, isn't he? Um, we might be able to eat that up. Let's see. Yeah, we do eat up. Watch, we're going to get the double flinch. I'm going to be very, very mad. Frost Poison comes out. I'm surprised you outspeed my Crobat. I am very surprised you outspeed my Crobat. We get a crit on that, which is nice. Do we get a Poison? No Poison. Sacred Fire pops. Give me the burn. Give me the burn. Give it to me. Give it to me. Let's eat. Let's eat. Let's go. Let's go. That's exactly what I needed. All right, so that thing's burned. It's going to start taking damage. Um... I really do want to set up a Tailwind. I'm surprised this Crobat's that slow. What's this Crobat's speed? Or Landers could be choice. It might be choice. He's got to be choice, man. I'm going to hope to dodge it and set up this uh, Tailwind. I'm going to hope to dodge it and set up this Tailwind. Uh, do I protect? Actually, I'm just going to Extreme Speed. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to Extreme Speed and try to take out this Landers here. That thing is choice. Come on, take him out. Get him out of my face. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Solid turn. I should be able to get off Tailwind, no problem here. Yep, Tailwind popping off here. Awesome. Awesome. Get Landers out the way. We're thriving. We're thriving here. And here comes the Icy Wind. And that, Entei might be able to eat that. Let's see if Entei eats. Entei eats. Crobat's definitely dead. Entei does eat. Entei's going to go down minus one on speed. But yo, I'll take that all day because I can extreme speed first turn. Really depends who he's going to bring out. 
Very, very nice. Tailwind's up. Gotta watch out for that Trick Room. So I think I bring out... I think I bring out T-Tar. I might just Dynamax Tyranitar here. It really depends who he brings out. Yeah, I think I Dynamax Tyranitar and I just uh, have Draco Fish out in the back end. Yeah, double T-Tar's gonna pop. And once I get Draco Fish out there, we're gonna be thriving. We're gonna be thriving. Like, I won't even have to worry about that too much. I would like for him to trigger my weakness policy, but I'm gonna go after his Cresselia with a uh, nice little Max Darkness. Or do I boost my defense? I mean, the physical attack. I'm just gonna go here and then I'm just going to, uh, I'm gonna try to put a burn on this thing. Cause if I can get a burn on the T-Tar, bro, we're gonna be, we gonna be zooming. We're gonna be zooming. But pop it off here. Dynamaxing. This is my Dynamax Pokemon. Definitely have Draco Fish in the back. I wonder who he has as his final mod. He brought Cresselia, T-Tar, um, who was it? Cresselia, T-Tar, Landers, and then who's his final mod? I wouldn't be surprised if he Dynamaxes his T-Tar. I'm not going for it. I'm not triggering weakness policy. Because I, I know I have first turn. So I think he's going to Dynamax as well. Yeah. He's going to Dynamax as well. He's going to try for us to trigger his weakness policy. He definitely got to be weakness policy on that. His final mod might be Coco. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised if it is Coco. As long as he doesn't get off Trick Room, we should be, should be thriving. We should, we should kind of clean this one up. Let's hopefully Entei goes down here. Which I actually don't think Entei is going to go down here. Actually, let's see. Let's see. It depends who's faster. Oh, Sacred Fire goes first. Give me the burn. That's all I'm looking for. Give it to me. Give it to me. Mwah. Mwah. That is lovely. That is lovely on a big old physical attacker like that. Oh, my lord. Get Cresselia out of my face. Yo, we're thriving. We are thriving. Big plays by Entei. Coming into battle number one. That's exactly what I needed. Exactly what I needed was that burn to kind of secure this victory up. On his Dynamax Cheetar. That is lovely. What are you going to go for? He's going to go for a Knuckle. Over on who? Entei? Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Trigger my weakness policy. We're out speeding you guys all day. We got the tail one up. That's that's game over, dude. That is going to be game over. That should be game over. Um, I don't know if I go after the T-Tar just yet. I don't know if I go after the T-Tar just yet. That thing's burned. It's plus one. We're plus two. Um, hmm. He's not gonna hit R. He's not gonna be able to hit hard. Tapu Coco is the final mod. That's fair. Coco might outspeed the Entei, because we are minus one. But we do have the Tailwind. Like I said, we have the Draco Fish, which is totally thriving. If I can get him in at any time. Um, Coco doesn't have Levitate. I might just take out Coco here. And not even trigger weak spots. We're gonna take out Coco. And then I think I just uh This thing gonna be Sash. I'm gonna double up in the Coco just in case it's Sash. I really don't want to be sad. Actually, I shouldn't have. We're Sandstorm. We're Sandstorm, dude. Team Speed popping. I should have just uh, threw something at the T-Tar. Maybe try to get some more damage. Gleam's popping. He's going to do some more damage. And they goes down. Dude, this one's over. This one is over because we outspeed. Coco's dead. Even if that T-Tar takes out us, dude, our Fisher's friend's going to be able to come in here and just dump on it. Choice fan. Stab. Big old damage coming after this thing. Out of here, Coco. Get out of my face. You ain't levitated. You're not levitated. We don't need it. We don't need it. Get him out of here. Special defensive boost and dude, solid first battle, solid first battle. Definitely burn coming up clutch, but I feel like we play that one uh, pretty good regardless. He's gonna go for another knuckle. Just trying to boost his attack up. Starting to get there, starting to get there, but without that burn, we would have been dead. We would have been dead a while ago. So burn's definitely, definitely helping us out. And now we got two big Pokemon. One that's weakness policy, already proc, and Draco Fish. You guys already know. So good choices by me to actually lead the, the Entei and the Crobat with both inner focus. Get rid of that Landers and be able to roll off in there. Entei did clutch it up with a uh, I think Entei's MVP this match. Entei's definitely MVP, considering he has... Actually, yeah, we're going to go for a quick. But Entei's definitely MVP, considering he's got two burns. He had extreme speed for first turn priority to be able to take out that Landers. And we just rocked out this battle. There's Fishers, man. Like I said, I knew that was just going to be able to dump on T-Tar in one shot. And we pick up that first battle victory. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Master Ball battle, Sandstorm is still rolling. And we didn't even bring out our extra drill. But, like, that just shows how good the new T-Tar and Draco Fish combo is. It's always scary going up against a Lapras team, and that is exactly what's happening in battle number two. So I gotta figure out a way around this, or who is going to be able to take out the Lapras. I think it's either gonna be my T-Tar or my Extra. We're really gonna need it, but he has a lot of special attackers. So I gotta lead Entei, because we have that Snarl. That's definitely a good lead. Entei, get over here. I think we do that same lead. I think same lead rocks out here. We might, oh, we might decorate. I do have Haze on the Crobat. So I am gonna go in with them too. But this is exactly what I think he's going to do. If I lead Entei and Crobat, he's gonna go for the G-Max Resonance over on the Crobat. And then, uh, if Crobat can just, like, haze and kind of, like, keep that under control, we'll be fine. Definitely want to bring Extra because we have a Seal Typing. And I think T-Tar is our final Pokemon. I think T-Tar is our final Pokemon. I think I think that's, uh, thriving. I can always set up Sword Sands as I am, uh, Focus Sash. 
I think that's the play. We're going to leave uh, Drake Fish out in the back end here. But, yo, I didn't even bring this up yet. I didn't even bring this up yet. Have you guys seen the leaks for all the new Pokemons coming out? Supposedly, they're coming out with a Pokemon Master Collection, which is Gens 1 to 3 to the Switch, which is amazing. Like, come on, dude. That would be awesome for this channel. We, I would do playthroughs on all of them. Then, they're going to fully remake Gen 4. That's the, that's the, that's the rumor. The fully remake on Gen 4, just a just a cross platform or a pull over of Gens 1 to 3. Then a full remake of Gen 4, a new Let's Go. It's supposedly like Let's Go Pichu and Let's Go like something else for uh, Kanto for Let's Go, and that would be amazing. And then there was one other thing. Oh, we got Pokemon Snap coming. Uh, we have another Pokemon Unite coming. Like, but I believe there was one other thing that I that I just totally forget. But so it's gonna be amazing. We're just gonna snarl up here though, kind of see what's going on. Um, do I cross poison? I don't think I'll speed. I should Tailwind. I should Haze. Um, Decorate might come out first. I think I'm just going to Cross Poison. I think I'm just going to Cross Poison, to be honest. Because so obviously it's going to be Dynamax into Decorate. But I'm thinking that Crobat out outspeeds and we might be able to pick up a KO. Super effective stab and potential crit. I don't know. He doesn't really hit too hard. But yeah, he's definitely Decorating. We kind of see he's coming. And then if I can survive another turn, I don't really think we need a Tailwind. Next draw is pretty fast in general. See what happens here. Cross poison comes out. Do some big old damage on this thing. Yo oh my god, we almost take that thing out. We didn't get the crit, man. Usually it gets a crits. Oh, are you kidding me? Lapras dodges that? Dude, I would have just took out the Alcrime. I should have doubled up in the Alcrime. We do get the uh, thing, the drop over here. He's just gonna decorate. Bro, what you mean? If I can haze, dude, if I can haze, we're gonna be thriving. What are you going for? He's going for the residence. I knew this was coming onto the Crobat slot. Go over on Ante. No, Crobat's dead. See Crobat. Bruh, 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 bruh! What you mean? Oh, no, no. Okay, so we gotta keep snarling. Or do I just extreme speed that thing and take it out? Oh, come in. What is the call? I think we have to Dynamax this thing. And drop a rock. I think that's gotta be our play. We got speed. I think we have to Dynamax to drop a rock. Extreme speed into Dynamax, yeah. I think it's a play. Or do, or do I guard this turn? I think I guard this turn. I think you gotta be going after T-Tar, right? Oh, dude, who is he gonna go after? He's gonna definitely change up the weather. So I think I might just drop a rock. This thing could be pol he could be policy. Unless, hold up, let me check the light light. Let's see if it's light light. It's not. It's gotta. It's gotta be policy. So I really don't want to trigger policy. He's just gonna dump on us. But I think I guard here, and then I can strong next turn. I think that's the plan. But he's definitely weakness policy. If he's not life orb, if he's not like weakness policy is definitely definitely the, the what he's what he is. Right? Because you never see a Lapras besides those three items. It's easy to see the weakness policy, like clay or like orb. Right? I think, I think it's. A, I think it's a fair statement. I think it's that's a that's pretty fair. Let's hold the berry. Let's sold the berry, but I don't really see that coming. He's gonna help in hand. Of course he's gonna help in hand. Go after my T-Tar, please. Go after my T-Tar, please. Go after my T-Tar, please. Team speed. We're able to get this thing out of the way, so no more decorates. Yeah. We got a crit on that. I wish we would have got a crit with a cross poison. Now, let's see what happens here. Geyser. I'm the best. I am the best. Okay, so now I can snarl, start bringing that thing's uh, stats down. I I wanted to snarl on that turn, but I couldn't. But I could not. Oh, this one's gonna be so so tough. I think I snarl and I think I quake here. Do I quake? And get the special defense boost? Or do I try because it's definitely weakness possible. The hill Lego is rock typing. I'm definitely gonna snarl. They're both special attacking, so I'm gonna do that. And I think I just quake over on the U. I think I quake over on the U. Again, I don't want to trigger weakness policy. This will be this thing's last turn. It's gonna meteor beam. And he's probably gonna dump all my anti. He's gotta be power herb, right? Ah oh, man, that had Lego coming in clutch. Don't be power herb, please. You see, it's power herb. Yeah. Okay, fair. Power herb, yeah. miss, miss, miss. Whack. All right, there goes, there goes my boy anti. There goes my boy anti. Jeez, man. Jeez. That had Lego chill on us, chill on us. Beast boost coming out here. Good thing, oh, that thing will not be dead here. Stinks. You're gonna, you're gonna trigger our weak spot. He's definitely focused Ash. That's a bad. Oh, uh, we should be able to eat this one up. Yeah, policy's triggered. Um. Now what's the play? 
There's a rain. We're gonna get a special defense boost. Now he'll go again. He's gonna survive this turn, and I'm gonna have to guard next turn. And drop a rock slide. Please don't be Sash. It's not Sash. Okay. Okay. I love you. Love to see it, baby. He's not Sash. That is huge. That is huge. That that thing wasn't Sash. Now we have a, we have a decent chance. We got extra drill still in the back end with our Filka Sash. I am tempted to set up a sword dance. I really am. He's gonna bring out Urshfu, which uh yeah, that is uh that's really bad for us. That that is probably the only Pokemon that's going to make us uh, lose this match. Cause he can hit through protect. Can he hit through max guards? I don't think he can hit through max guards. I really don't think he can hit through max guards. So I think I just rock slide here. Look for flinches. I think I max guard this turn. Right? But I think Unseen Fist hits through protects and only G-Max move can hit through max guards. Right? I believe so. I believe so. Um, again, we are sashed. I think I have to drop a move. I think I have to drop a move. Go back here. Fight. We're just gonna go for an Iron Head over on the Earth Spoo. I know a rock fall if we do pull it off we'll take out Lapras, but this one's real close. This one's real close. Urshifu protects. I'm mm, I'm thriving with that. Iron Head misses. Oh dude. Ooh, Lapras outspeeds us. Oh man! Man! Nah, that's definitely game. That's definitely game. Again, we are sash and extra drill. I think outspeeds both of them, but again, I gotta watch out for sucker punch. I gotta hope to maybe get flinches on this thing. Nice protect by him. Nice protect by him. Should have guarded it. I should have just went after the Lapras. Dude, man. It was close combat. We're going to be able to eat that up. The thing is. Oh, he outspeeds us. The thing is, we're going to have to. We're going to have to get a double KO here. We're going to have to get like a crit on that at Earth Spoo because his defense is dropped. And we're going to need to get a flinch on the Lapras at least. Let's see what happens. Get him. We did nothing to that Urshifu because it's not very effective. <laughs> and was this thing weak spot the whole time? It was. It was, like I said. Man, dude, tough. Second battle. Not bad, actually. Um, I feel like if he didn't have Urshifu, we would have been thriving. If he didn't have Urshifu, we would have been thriving there. Urshifu is just very, very strong Pokemon. Hydro Pump comes out here. That cleans us up. And battle number two goes to them. We're now sitting at one and one. So we're going to hop to our third and final battle and try to get that winning record for you guys. And I feel like we can definitely pull this one off. We've been playing pretty good with this team. Third and final battle coming at you guys, and we're looking for that winning record for the Jeans Online Game of Community, baby. We're looking for it. We're looking for it right now. This guy's got Clefairy, Dragapult, Regilecki, Urshifu, Tapu Fini, and Kartana. So his team's looking really, really strong, to be honest. A lot of top tier Pokemon here with the Finny, the Poltsky, and the Kartana, Regilecki, Urshifu. Like, the, all these Pokemon are really, really strong. But how should I go into it? Is he special attacking? I mean, Entei's not bad. Like, again, Entei and Crobat combo kind of works out strong here. Mm, I'm trying to think. Kind of thing. I kind of want to go into that because I can snarl. I could potentially get burns with Entei. I think will o would rock out for Entei. But I think I'm going to go Crow back here. I can definitely haze a cross poison set up Tailwind. Roll from there. I think I'll go Titar and into Draco Fish. I feel like that just rocks. It's just really, really strong combo. Just have to grasp Pokemon. Actually, I don't know. I think I might go extra instead. I might go extra instead, but I really do like Draco Fish because we get that speed. We have the choice band damage. Um. Hmm. Nah, I said we go extra drill. Because that seal typing does work up against the Finny. Um, and then Regilecki can't hit us because we're part ground. Actually, we are. Are we part ground? Is he ground? Yeah, he's ground and steel. He's not rock. Rock is uh, T-Tar. I was going to say. Yeah, so we can't get hit by electric moves. We're just going to roll in with this squad. Look at this dude. Basically, the same trainer card, just he's playing shield over there. He's playing shield. I got sword, yo. Let me know in the comment section down below which one did you guys go with? Sword or shield? I was definitely a sword guy. I was just like, yeah, I'm gonna rock out with sword. I'm gonna rock out with sword. Or did you guys get both? Because I know some people do actually pick up both. He's gonna go fairy into pole ski, which is okay. Which is okay. I don't see it. Uh, definitely gotta set up the tailwind. But fairy's kind of scary. Um, we think this thing's special attacking. What do I think it is? I don't want to trigger weakness possibly. It could be weakness possibly. It's definitely physical, man. It's definitely physical. I don't think there's a point for me to go into that. Um. 
Let's set up the tailwind. We're at 200 speed. I think he's going to outspeed me all day. I think I tailwind and then taunt it next turn. I think tailwind is a more important uh, thing to get up right now. See what happens. He's going to dynamax you. Yep. Yep. He's dynamaxing. He's dynamaxing. And I don't think Clefairy can... Uh, I don't really think Clefairy can proc Lucas policies. I think he's just there to kind of just pester around and uh, be a support mon. Took up some shots. But it's crazy that like... Out of all the Pokemon in the Pokemon universe, like Clefairy is used a good amount in Pokemon in ranked battles. Like it's kind of weird. I'm gonna protect my Anthea. And I'm gonna set up this Tailwind. This Chaos Wind. And what is this thing gonna go for? Follow me. Yerp. Yerp. Maybe I should have went for I think I should have went for the sake of fire. I should probably not. Tailwind does come out. We do outspeed that thing. Oh no, no, I would have went for the taunt turn one. Go for my Anthea, please. Go for my Anthea. Then go for an airstream. Go run the Crobat. Man. We're about to eat, so a taunt can't come out here easily. But I'm going to taunt. And they are going to get some speed. The so taunt come out here. He's like, okay, that's good to know. I'm going to try to get a secret fire off on this thing. I'm try to get a burn. I could haze. I'd rather taunt. I'd rather taunt right now and maybe haze next turn if we can. Get a helping hand. I know that. I'm going for my anti. But that's fine. Like, if I can get rid of your Dynamax, I think T-Tar and extra real combo with Dynamax and Mole out here pretty strong. Let's see. What, 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 what are you going to do, man? What are you going to do? We got speed on you. We got speed on you. We're going to taunt your fairy. Tell it to go home. Tell it to knock it off. And then see what we can do from there. That's what I do like about Crobat. He's so versatile, but... Again, like, when they lead somebody who's fresh on him, he's kind of just in the dumps. He's kind of in the dumps. Or somebody with a choice scar. What are you going to do, fool? We go for another bomb. Okay, we saw that coming on. The taunt's coming out here. Kind of gonna cancel out this Clefairy for later. Crobat's up. We gonna taunt that thing. Yeah, come here, baby. Yo, knock off your stuff. Just knock it off. And then here comes my Entei with Sacred Fire. I wish that would go back over there. I'm doing some. That's some nice damage. That's some nice damage on the Clefairy. Not even gonna lie. Here comes another Airstream. Okay, Crobat is still fastest. Crobat is still fastest. But this juncture, I should be uh, be able to. Uh, do I haze? I really do want to haze. I really do. Slow that thing down. I really do just want to haze, man. Do I haze and slow it down? Or do I... I got to back. No, no. We're going to haze and slow it down. That's the play. Haze slows Dragapult down. Entei goes, takes out with Secret Fire. I think that's fine. I don't know which draw Clefairy. I'm liking that. Sacred Fire is going to pop on this slot. Onto the Finny. Okay. It's totally fine. It's totally fine. Set the Misty Surge. But yeah, Haze will, Haze will slow this thing down, which I, which I really, really like. Really, really like. This swirls around the battlefield. This comes out. Give me all them stat changes. Out my face. Out my face. Get rid of them all. Sacred Fire is going to pop. Maybe can we get the burn? I know it's special tackling. So I would like to get the burn. Not bad damage. Give it to me. Give it to me. You get a crit. Ooh, give me the burn now. Ah, no burn, no burn. Here comes an airstream again. That plus one is still gonna come back here. Entei's gonna go down. And. Do I go T Tar? I kinda wanna go T Tar. Much. Actually, or do we go extra here? Hmm. What am I gonna die next? Extra drill or T Tar? T Tar should be able to eat up a fairy move, proc policy, and roll from there. But Finny's got to go. Finny's got to go. I think T-Tar's call. As we do have one Tailwind turn left, I think T-Tar's definitely the call here. And I have Extra just in the back end with that Focus Sash. I'm gonna Dynamax T-Tar here. Set the Sandstorm of Streams, maybe. Okay, right, so they're both plus one on speed. We have one more turn left in Tailwind, right? Yeah, because he Dynamax turn one. We have one more turn left in Tailwind, which is wonderful. So we should be able to outspeed. Well, Crobat should be able to go first. I could Darkness. He might drop out. He's, I think he might fly. So in that case, I am just going to Rockfall over on the or Who else did he have? Who else did he bring? I might just Quake here. Nick Fairy. I think he's going to be special attacking or physical. I think physical. I think it's going to be Urshifu that's going to pop out here. I still want to boost special. Mm, I'd rather take out the Finny. We're going to drop a Rockfall over on the Finny. I think uh, what's called is going to dip out. Hmm. I don't know what to go for. 
I think Dragapult does dip out this turn. So, okay. So that's why I was just like, let me let me drop this Finny instead of the Dragapult. As much as I want that Dragapult out of the way, I think we should be thriving. I think he I think he dips out this turn, and then we can uh, hit him on the next turn. I really do think that's I really do think that's gonna happen. He might swap the Finny out, but hopefully he procs my weakest policy or something like that. Frost poison. He does not dip out. Actually, he might. He might. So his turn. Let's see. Now it's his turn. You gonna dip out? You know? Oh, okay. He's just gonna darts. He's just gonna darts. I'm with it. Crobat drops. That's fine by me. He darts. What's called should eat here all day. Whatever Finny has to offer, we should be able to eat it up. Probably Moonblast, let's see. And pro proc my policy, right? Do it, do it. Yeah. 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 Okay, so Finny out my face. Finny, get out my face. You get a special attack drop. It's all good. He's physical. Give me my policy. Finny's gone. Dragapult, I'm not too worried about. We got our uh, focus as an extra drill in the back end. He's got Clefairy. He can go for a follow me. That's fine. Extra drill can just dump on it with a... Uh, an iron head bob finny out my face dog out my face yo we rolling up here in battle number three trying to get that winning record for you guys you guys already know the deal it's already no deal and when peter out again now that thing is fastest but again like like i said we're, we're thriving we still have two turns left in dynamax he might dip out this turn it really depends who, we, who he's gonna play let's see who he plays he plays the urshan okay yeah dude that feels so scary Mold breaker comes out. I can hit through abilities. I can hit through all y'all but Um, I think I darkness here. Let me get rid of the pull. A rock slide, I think I iron head it over onto you. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. He might protect I think he's gonna protect Earth and dip out. Let's see what happens here. Fire Oh, whoa, hey there! You got a fire blast? Oh there. Slow your roll there, pup. Comes close combat. Oh no. Oh no, man! It's a crit! You get, dude! Bro, this is one of the reasons why I hate Pokemon. We're thriving here, and this dude gets a crit? What you mean? He gets a lucky crit on a close combat to win in the game. Bruh, I'm not having it. I'm not dealing with this game anymore. I'm just not dealing with it anymore. I'm done with it. I'm done with it. This will be the last Pokemon video on my channel. We're gonna start playing, um,. SpongeBob SquarePants battle for Bikini Bottom. That's the first game I thought of, but I gotta, I gotta run it now. I gotta keep extra alive. I thought we were thriving that battle. Close combat comes in, crits us. We're done. We're done. So that is GG. Urshfu has been the death of us in today's video. Not bad with this team today. Went one and two, but I did get to show off the main concept, which I am very, very happy about with the T-Tar combo alongside with the extra Draco Fish and Entei over here with the Burns with Sacred Fire, Snarl for special attack drop and extreme speed for first turn priority. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.